Hello, welcome to Llewellyn Galleries. This is Steven Gonzalez. Uh, today I'm going to take you on a quick tour of Enrico Donati's exhibition, Prima Matera. Uh, and we're going to jump back and forth um, a few different ways because he is one of the rare artists that jumps from surrealism to abstract expressionism. And you'll see in the video some prime examples of those two periods uh, in art. Uh, right here you're looking at his surrealism works, which if you're not familiar with surrealism, it was a cultural movement that developed in Europe uh, after World War I, and it, it was a time for people to explore the mindset, dreams, what they meant. Uh, in this particular work and other uh, surrealist works, you're going to see scenes of, you know, symbolic images, uh, bizarre objects, uh, arrangements, personal iconography, distorted figures, and biomorphic shapes, uh, all characteristics of surrealism. And Donati is in a unique situation where he, in the 1930s, late 1930, let's say 39, uh, he escapes it Italy and the growing threat of war and working as a painter he has his first exhibition at the school uh, new school of social research uh, where Andre Breton a leader of the surrealist movement saw his work and immediately gravitated towards it uh, deeming uh, Enrico Donati a surrealist painter and so he does have success in this uh, type of work you can definitely see uh, hints of surrealism in his works. Uh, for Enrico, it was a time for him to explore the concept of life and death and the cycle of life and death. And for him, what it meant, um, a beautiful redemption. And then around the 1950s, he starts to transition into more of a abstract expressionist look. However, with that said, the concept for him uh, evolves even further because he starts experimenting with um, crushed quartz, different types of material, creating these beautiful surfaces, heavy texture, beautiful coloration. Uh, again, this egg-like shape represents the idea of life. Again, a uh, nod to his stint in surrealism. Uh, throughout his works, there's a mixture of surrealism and abstract expressionism. This is a prime example of uh, what I just mentioned. And you may be asking yourself why the texture. Um, it, it could be that uh, early on, uh, when back when Enrico was still living in Europe, he was studying in Paris originally as a uh, studying economics and then turned his uh, education to avant-garde music. While in Europe, again, the idea of things changing, surrealism, that whole concept, he comes into con contact with a exhibition at a museum there where they focused on you know, sacred artifacts of Native Americans. He's intrigued. So he's determined to learn more about them. And with that said, he travels to America. Uh, you know, this is 1930s, uh, the Southwest area, uh, Canadian Northwest, living amongst the Native American people, learning their ways. And in a way, it's not too far-fetched that um, this cultural um, experiment for him leads to some of these paintings. They do look very you know, petroglyph-like, um, almost like a cave painting or drawing, uh, but beautifully done with these gorgeous colors, a lot of depth in the work. Uh, the materials that he used, again, were uncommon for the era. Um, you know, personal iconography, uh, but all in all, you know, engaging work, you know, even if one is not in tune with the work, you can certainly feel the sense of history. He's in almost every major museum across the U.S. 
and Lou Allen Galleries is pleased to uh, have this exhibition here at the gallery off of these works to our clientele. So with that said, if you do have any questions, I can help you answer any questions you may have. Uh, of course, I'm here for you. Or if you just want to learn more about Enrico or a, per, you know, a painting, I'm, I'm here for you guys. So with that said, you'll find my information at the bottom of the email here, and I'm happy to schedule some time with you if you'd like to explore any particular painting. Uh, but for now, again, this is just a quick run through of this particular exhibition. I hope you enjoy it, and I hope to speak to you soon. Take care.